Hey, welcome, 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 everyone, to the Power Half Hour. Each and every week, I interview a top agent in our area and all over North America. And today, we have our partner, my business partner here, right here in the Greater Vancouver uh, Lower Mainland area, Mr. Nav Singh. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, John. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, it's uh, it's an honor, it's a privilege, and I'm thankful to you for the opportunity, and uh, it's awesome to be here with you. Man, thank you for taking your time. Uh, I've seen you grow uh, in the past uh, couple years here, and uh, it's just amazing to see what you have done on social media and with your production overall. Uh, but tell us about how you got started. Yes, uh, well, I... I've been in the real estate for about 10 years, John, but not as a real estate agent. Oh. So uh, I read this book about 10 years ago, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which really kind of changed my mindset and pushed me towards more real estate. But I was in the real estate about, you know, uh, like as a fixer flipper, buying older, especially in the Chilliwack area, buying older condos, fixing, flipping, and making some money that way. Interesting, okay. And uh, that was the only experience I had in the real estate. Then I was also doing some, you know, uh, like online trading, forex trading, stocks, and that kind of stuff. I was also doing some odd jobs here and there. So then I decided to, uh, about, Three years ago, I decided to become a real estate professional. I decided to go to the UBC and get my license so I mm -hmm. can also see the other side of uh, uh, the line, that how it works and everything. And that's how I started in the real estate. And uh, it's been pretty good so far. Awesome. Awesome. So when you first started, uh, you were an investor first. Correct. And then you did other stuff and then transitioned into the sales. Uh, so when you got, first got a, started in sales... I mean, everything's good now, but mm -hmm. when you started, was it hard? Uh, it was very hard. It was it was much harder than I was expected, yes, because mm -hmm. I had no sales experience because all the previous jobs or gigs that I was doing, that was not related to sales or, you mm -hmm. know, so there was definitely in the beginning, there was a transition period when I had to uh, face my fears and be at the uncomfortable spots many times before I learned the ropes and stuff. So it was definitely very difficult, but... Um, yeah, it's uh, it, it gets it gets better with the time, like with everything else. For sure, and and you're no stranger to hard work, I think. And uh, you know, uh, not sure if you guys all know, uh, Nav and I had the same exact birth date. Yes, like January eighty, uh, yeah, I mean, January six, nineteen eighty, exact same yeah. date, same year. So I know the the kind of um, things that go through go go on in your head. You're, you're a grinder. Am I correct, correct on that? You are right. And, and, and we never, like as Capricorns, we just never give up. So never. how long um, did it take you from when you first started license to when you got your first sale? Uh, four months. It was right after four months that I got my first deal. Mm. And uh, most people get their first deal from their from the sphere of influence. That's right. But uh, for me, I, even though I've been in this country for about 20 years, but I don't have a bigger fa big family here. I'm just pretty much it's just me, myself, my wife, and we have oh, very right. few family members. Uh, most of my family is in either in the U.S. or in, 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 in Ontario, but in the B.C. I don't have. And uh, not many people believe this. I'm a very introvert personality. I don't really mm -hmm. talk to people that much. So even my friend circle was very limited, only like two people, that's it. Interesting. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, if, if I'm the person who will find the quietest corner in the room, if I'm at the event or something, I'll just hide there. So I'll just, you know, not try to look at anybody so nobody can start a conversation with me. So that's me. But uh, that has changed now in the last couple of years since I've been right. on social media and the real estate. So definitely things have changed. It have uh, really helped me grow with my personality, uh, you know, having conversations and speaking with people. So, yeah, but uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's been great so far. Yeah. You, you know, four months is actually not bad. Um, it took me eight months and I was working. Uh, well, I wasn't working that hard and I didn't know what I was doing. So I, I just want to tell uh, new agents out there, uh, four months is actually pretty quick. Yes. And uh, eight months, you know, six to eight months is probably what you should be expecting. So always have six months supply of, uh, you know, expenses saved up. All right. But yep. um, you did say that uh, you don't have a big family and friends database. So no. how did you get your first transaction? Uh, social media, my TikTok account. That's how I got my first client. And uh, that's how I've been getting all of my clients since that. Uh, pretty much 100% of my transactions 
uh, which I did about 20, uh, of 27 now in the last 12 months. It's all been through the uh, social media 100%. Okay, so really, let's let's dive a little bit deeper on that, like TikTok. <laughs> yes, TikTok. Sir. How how do you get deals from TikTok, Nev? Well, that's the biggest question. Even the agents sometimes they speak with me, like, "Do you even make any money from this thing?" I was like, "Dude, I make all of my money from this thing." <sighs> right. So, because that's the first question I get asked. Yes, uh, the deals I get is just by putting the content out there. To be mm. very honest, I just uh, I'm very consistent at it. Uh, almost every single day, I put a video out. When it started, I was putting three videos a single day, just wow. talking about the stuff that people want to know. Okay, just the basic stuff about the real estate. Because mm -hmm. uh, when you're a real estate agent, we think people know everything, but people don't know too much about the real estate. Hmm. So they have so many questions that we can answer. So that's what I was doing. I was putting content out every single day for first six months, or like, you know, sometimes two times, three times a day. And uh, then there's another thing I do. I go live almost every single day. Like that's my prospecting. Go live. Okay. Go live every single day on TikTok. <clears throat> okay. Some people go door knocking. Some people cold call. I go live every single day for hour and a half to two hours on TikTok in the evening. I talk to about 150 to 200 people every single day through oh, that oh live. Yes. Okay. So uh, that's where, and once I'm done with that, that live, I usually get, you know, next morning about three, four, five calls from mm -hmm. that live that I, I was talking to them and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's how I get my deals done. It's just no connecting kidding. with people, answering their questions, you know, uh, clearing their doubts, giving them information, what's going on. And uh, yeah, just making them more aware about the current situation, about the market, what's going on, you know, either buyers or sellers or, or any questions that they have. That is news to me that going live actually, because um, you are interacting live with your viewers. And Correct. when you're giving them value live, they feel like they're talking to you. So, 100%. you know, of course, when they connect with you that way, they're going to reach out to you uh, when they're ready to buy a home. Yes. Um, but you need to have good content. So, Nav, how did you come up with the content? John, content is like, you know, uh, the content creation is just like a, it's a muscle in your brain that you got to work on that the way I look mm -hmm. at it. You know, it's, uh, you're not going to get good at it just by making one, two or 10 videos. It's something that you have to start. It's just like going to gym, gym. Uh, John, you go to gym every single day, right? That's right. But like first week when you go or first two weeks are always very draining. You know, you, you even instead of going your energy level up, it kind of goes down. You get, you know, you get tired and stuff. But once you keep working on that muscle, mm -hmm. you start to grow the muscles, your energy goes up, you know, you get better at it. Same thing with the content creation. Mm -hmm. You have to start. In the beginning, you know, you, you're going to have this brain fart moments that you, you're going to have no idea. But maybe, you know, you copy somebody's content, share some news, something. And once you get into the game, that creative muscle, your creative juices will start to flow in your brain. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you see something around, you always, you know, just get content out of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like as a real estate agent, whenever we're seeing a house, we're always, you know, thinking about the buying or selling or, you know, what the price will be house or something like that. So similar thing. It's just you have to start. And there's lots of content out there. I mean, uh, if you don't know anything, maybe just go on the Google search because people want to know, like, what's going on in the market, like housing mm -hmm. bubble. Right now, people want to know about the recession. They want to know about the interest rates. They want to know about the market prices, like what's happening every single day. So that's exactly what I do. I mean, I just posted a video about the interest rate that the Bank of Canada holds today's interest Over rate. Term. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Most people will just share like a screenshot of a newspaper. So rather me, I would just say that thing out from my own words that would help mm -hmm. me connect better with the, you know, my, my viewer rather than just me showing them a piece of uh, uh, like a screenshot or something. Yeah, for sure. And, and it's not just about uh, delivering that information, it's how you deliver it. And if you are saying it instead of just posting a picture about it, then people will connect with you and they see your face all the time. So when I, I bet you anything, when your clients meet you, they feel like they already know you. Am I correct on that? 100%, John. That's, that's another thing I enjoy about creating content. Whenever I get a call uh, and whenever they decide to work with me, I don't really have to sell myself because they are about 80, 90 percent. They already made up their mind that they want to work with me. It's only the 10 percent that, you know, I have to do the, the work. So I don't really have to work that hard to prove myself to them that I'm worthy of their business. So That's when they're amazing. To me, they are already pretty much good to go. That is amazing. So uh, it comes with consistency and it comes with hard work, obviously. And it's like a plane, right, going full throttle to get mm -hmm. it off the ground. And once you're 
in the air, then you can kind of, you know, cruise a little bit, right? So yeah. you were creating three videos a day, you know, five days a week, let's say. What, how much are you creating now? A uh, lot less now, a lot less than uh, I want to create, to be very honest, because at the same time, I'm also handling the transactions, I'm meeting clients mm. now, so the time mm. is definitely a bit of a crunch now. Uh, but I still try to do five videos a week now, like one video a week. Uh, sorry, one video a one day. One video a day, okay. okay yes. Okay. So that's my bare minimum that, that I try to keep up, and uh, that's what I do. So Monday do you still, one video. Do you still batch your content uh, do. creation time, or do I you do. do one a day? No, I do batch creation. Okay. Okay, tell us a little bit more about that, what that means. Okay, batch creation is something like, you know, uh, I do more like time blocking and batch creation. So every single day, I have one hour set aside. So in that one hour, what I'm going to do, I have a, like a whole book right here that I would just go. I will look at the videos on that shows up on my feed mm. and I see what other people are doing, what kind of news they are sharing and how I can use that content in my niche, which is real estate. Okay. So I get those ideas, then I just write them down in my, my, my big book here, just ideas right here. I note them down. So I try to get one idea a day, and then I'll just, you know, maybe some bullet points what I want to talk about. And then usually Tuesday is my content creation day. So I will just have my bullet points ready from throughout the week. I'll just sit down in front of the camera. I have my camera light everything ready. Because since I was working like one hour every day to get that content ready and, and mm. the script ready, so, you know, I can, I can push out like, you know, 20 videos in about one hour, just like oh, boom, wow. boom, 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 it's done. You are a machine with that. That is crazy. Um, did you always know that you were going to do all these transactions from content creation or did it just kind of grow from there as you started? I wanted to do it, but I was not sure if I will, I will be able to do it because, you know, uh, as I said, I'm, uh, I was a very introvert person. Uh, so mm -hmm. being on the social media was biggest channel challenge for me, you know, facing the camera. So uh, I started, I didn't really had any expectations from it, mm -hmm. but uh, I did have somewhere in the mind, uh, you know, I heard this somewhere that, you know, uh, better known beats the, be beats the best out there right so if i can become better known in the market if i can put mm. my name out there my face out there there's a chance maybe i can survive and make something for me in this market mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, that's the whole thing that i started and uh, i didn't have any uh, like big expectations that i'll be doing deals but it turns out to be it worked out pretty great it really did um so beyond content creation and beyond doing those lives mm -hmm. are you calling out to people to follow up, like prospecting and lead follow up, doing like the real estate yes. kind of system but still, or are, are there just people calling you out from TikTok? I'm only following up with the people who are calling me first. Got it. Yeah. I'm only following wow. with them because not every person who's calling me today, they're ready to buy today. Sometimes they have some questions. Sometimes they have some concerns, but they're calling me. But as soon as I get a call, as soon as a, a number shows up on my caller ID, it goes in my KB core. Mm. And uh, my first thing is with them is, you know, if, if, if they have any questions about anything and getting their email is my, uh, my after their phone number, getting the email is my next step. And uh, I just keep them in my KB core and then I have the system set up there, the drip campaigns that I have, you know, like every uh, once a month or depending on the client, I just, you know, it, it goes once a month or if it's a hot client, I maybe I'll, you know, follow up every week or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but only to people who are contacting me first. That's perfect, guys. Who wouldn't want people calling you instead of you calling out? So, you know, content creation is, is not easy and uh, it's delayed gratification because it's not like you just post it one day and then you get a deal the next day. How long were you posting content before you got your first transaction? I was about six months I would say because I started creating videos even before I got my license to be very honest because okay. uh, while I was getting my license so I had you know I was thinking about like how am I going to get my clients because I don't have a big circle of friends or family so and if I want to you know make anything for me in the business I have to put my name out there so I started making the videos even before I became an agent mm -hmm. so from that point my first video to my first transaction after getting my license six months six months okay yeah and most people don't want to wait six months. They just want to make one video and do a deal. Tell us a little bit about your discipline in that to be able to say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to keep going until I see results. Most people would have given up. 100%. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you don't give up because uh, 
I was not in the situation of giving up, to be honest, because mm. uh, financially I was struggling. I had my six months funds set aside just right. in case, <clears throat> but that was that was all I had. Then I also have a family. I have a seven year old kid. Uh, you know, I got a wife, my my parents, and everybody. And I'm I'm the pretty much uh, well. My wife works as well, but uh, mostly it's me, right? So. I didn't have much choice, to be very honest. I mean, mm. uh, I'm an introvert guy. I'm very shy to talk to people. So I tried door knocking. Uh, I like it, and I don't like it at the same time. I tried <laughs> cold calling. Definitely not for me. I tried only, like, I made only, like, 10 calls one day, and I'm not ever making any cold calls again. <laughs> and uh, so for me, I was like, okay, this is my only chance. Because I have seen people, uh, you, you know, get benefit from social media. I have seen many yeah. other big influencers. I have seen people grow in days, you know, or in weeks. So I was like, man, if they can do it, I can do it. It's just me sticking with the plan for as long as I can mm -hmm. and trying my best, you know. Yeah, of course, uh, at the beginning, you know, it, it sucked. Everybody sucks whenever you start anything new because yeah. you don't know what you're doing. There's so much coming at you. You're just, you know, a new line of work. You don't know what you're doing. There's so much learning happening and stuff. But I guess, yeah, if you stay consistent and if you just, you know, uh, I guess just choose one thing what you want to do. Like if you want to yeah. do real, I mean, social media, yeah, give it at least six months. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. you got you to gotta pay your dues. Everybody got to pay your dues and uh, you will get results. But uh, it'll take time. It will take time, guys. Uh, it, it is uh, paying your dues. Yes. And what, what I believe is that the, the how of getting business, the how of becoming successful actually doesn't matter as much as the why. Right. So you just talked a little bit about your why. You know, you have your parents, you have your wife and you have your seven, eight year old son. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what else drives you to be so relentless every day? It's just, you know, I, I want to be successful. I want to provide a better life for the family. My family is my biggest driver, to be very mm -hmm. honest. Okay, at the same time, I want to share a little bit about this as well. My, my son, when he was two and a half years old, he was diagnosed with leukemia. Oh. So we were in uh, BC Children for about three months. He got his oh, chemos boy. and everything. At that time, it really hit me because I have seen people in the BC Children struggling so much because little oh. babies and stuff going through so much. That really, uh, you know, they shook me from inside. Mm. So I want to do better for my family. At the same time, I want to do better for other people. I have a, this really deep connection with BC Children Hospital. Mm. So I want to do, you know, because if, if I do better, if I make more, I can help others as well. So that's my second biggest factor after my family that I want to help those little kids in BC children and the families. So that's my second biggest factor after my immediate family. Wow. Good for you, man. I did not know that. And uh, I'm glad uh, he's OK. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's fully recovered now. He's, he's good. Oh, boy. So beyond family, it's all about contribution to the bigger community to give cool. back. Um, when you earn more, you can give more. Certainly, when you don't have a lot, it's tough to give a lot, right? So that's that's the why, guys. The why power is more important than the how to get to be successful. Nav had no choice but to be successful, to earn money so he can take care of his family and take care of his community. So, right. Nav, uh, it, it's been great, you know, partnering with you here uh, in uh, under this platform. Um, maybe share a little bit about why EXP for you. Why EXP? Uh, I did a bit of a research before joining while I was getting my license. And uh, I actually, John, I, I've, I've been following you along before I was uh, even an agent or anything, right? So you definitely been my biggest inspiration. You're my role model. You're my hero. You. You, I look up to you every single day. And uh, me being consistent, I guess somewhere you play a big role because when you see someone doing, you know, big things and being consistent and being so humble as you are, John, it, it, it really uh, gives a hope uh, to a person like me. Maybe I can do something similar, you know. So uh, you, my friend, play a big role. Oh, boy. Thank you. And, <laughs> okay. Thank and, you. Uh, uh, other than that, EXP definitely. I mean, the platform. Uh, I always been uh, more uh, like a techy kind of guy. I love to explore new uh, uh, innovations, new uh, technologies, and everything. And EXP stood out for me because of its, uh, you know, the the meta like platform they have. The EXP word. The learning is so easy, especially I guess for the new agents. Everything is on your fingertips. Uh, the support. And uh, from the uh, from the uh, you know uh, big agents like you and everybody else around the EXP community, it's uh, I, I think that's uh, that's priceless. Mm. And uh, that that really helped me decide to go with EXP. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think you, you bring up such a great point. The platform, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Um, we get training, we get revenue share, we get stocks, and we get collaboration. But at the end of the day, um, it's who you do business with. Correct. And, you know, we were attracted to each other by who I was being, right? And uh, <laughs> it's like a... I don't want to brag about my humility, but I think humility is, is what attracts people. And I think we all need to be um, more humble and just keep our heads down to, yes. to work. And I see that in you as well. I mean, no surprise, we have the same birthday. So, thank <laughs> yeah. So thank, thank you again for, for your partnership and, and great sharing that about EXP. Um, you know, in, in this stage of your career, now you're about three years into your real estate career. What is next for, for NAV? Uh, of course, I want to get better at the content creation because uh, e social media is my uh, plan. So I want to help more people, uh, like more families with their tra real estate transaction goals and stuff. At the same time, I also want to start to help other fellow agents achieve what I have done in this period. Because mm. I think there's lots of agents out there who struggle with these things and stuff. So I'm working on a few things to help others as well. So, you know, we can uh, help others, you know, so all the boats can raise at the same time. Uh, that's the thing. And plus, uh, of course, helping other families and grow my business and do uh, uh, better for my family at the same time. For sure, for sure. Um, are you talking about a course for social media, perhaps? Maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't want to talk too much right now because I'm not sure, but I'm definitely working about something and because uh, I'm, I'm sure that's going to help lots of people, uh, especially if somebody is looking to grow and uh, learn about other things. Because I think me, I guess there's lots of things out there you can learn. But if something would come from me, because being in the industry from mm -hmm. real estate, because I know how things work inside and outside, like in real estate and on social media. So I believe I can I, I can help many other people if, if someone is really willing to learn and, and take their uh, things to the next level. There you go, for sure. Reach out to Nav and follow him on TikTok uh, if you want to get more insight on social media. Uh, so going forward in this kind of weird market we're in right now, 2023, inventory is low and buyers are coming back, but still we're down sale in sales about 40%. Um, what do you see going forward in the market? I think inventory is definitely going to be a uh, you know uh, issue for the for the times to come, which is because uh, you know the way our population and demand is growing and all this immigration coming in, like one million new residents moving to Canada within one year. Oh boy! And I guess I guess we are the housing we built is about uh, about only quarter million a year all over Canada. So inventory is definitely going to be an issue. So, but uh, yeah, but I guess if you have a if you uh, it also depends like. Being an agent, how many people know about you in the market? It's not just the clients, also as the agents, because that also plays a role, I guess, if you're working with a buyer and stuff. Mm -hmm. If the other side, the other agents, they have a better connection with you, which can be built with social media, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to get the deals done for your clients. Yeah, 100% in this type of market right now, if you are a buyer's agent and you don't have a relationship with the listing agent, it's a tougher conversation when you're going up against eight other buyers who are making subject free offers with deposit check in hand. So build those relationships in the market and you should see yourself succeed for the rest of 2023. Um, so with that being said, <clears throat> uh, in building a team, you know, since you're doing 27 transactions now, are you looking to do that for yourself? Uh, not sure. Maybe, maybe. I'm still thinking about it. I'm double-minded about it right now. Uh, maybe you and me can have a little private chat after, and you can <laughs> guide yes, me. Sir. But uh, maybe in the near future, but not not at this particular moment. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I think if you are doing 27 right now, I think you can go to 50 with just one agent. So, you know, let's, let's definitely talk about that. I'm excited for you. I think Absolutely. you can do it with your influence, you know, attract not only clients, but also agents. So we'll definitely talk more about that. Of course. Um, now that uh, I can see people like agents who are have been struggling for the past six months, they're almost about to give up. They're almost about to go back to their day job, you know. What are some uh, inspiring and motivational words that you have for them to have them move forward in 2023? Don't give up. Just hang in there. It's uh, it's never easy, I guess. You know, uh, doesn't matter. I guess if you see somebody who's successful out there, it's still it's everybody is going through. Uh, especially last six months has definitely been tough for everybody. I would say, 
But uh, again, uh, as John always says, it's all about the consistency. It's, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. Uh, last six months been pretty tough. Mm-hmm. But if you were uh, consistent at whatever you were doing, door knocking, uh, social media, cold calling, it's just a numbers game. If you you know put out enough efforts out there, there's no way that you will not be successful. You know, just hang in there, keep paying your dues, keep putting out. You know, your your output should be much more than your input. Keep mm. making those calls, keep creating those videos, or keep talking to people every single day. It's just a numbers game. Uh, listen to John; he's he's best at it. So and uh, yeah, just keep doing it. Don't give up. I mean, it's it's very easy to quit. I mean, I I can quit right now. I can quit today. <laughs> but the thing is, this I'm gonna regret that five years down the road. That why did I do that? I mean, anybody can quit. Quitting is easy. So staying in, staying tough, and you know, just facing the the circumstances. That's tough, and you can do it. Whoever's listening, keep going. Don't quit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Don't quit. Uh, don't ever quit on yourself. You know what? Winter uh, is here, but winter is always followed by spring. So Correct. whatever you're going through right now, this too shall pass. I always say this. You cannot control the interest rates. You cannot control inflation. You cannot control the real estate market. What you can control every single day is your skills, yes. is your mindset, is your activities and your actions. So never quit. Nav and I are here to help. Nav. How do people get a hold of you on social media? Uh, uh, any uh, any social media platform. Uh, my handle is the Nav Singh. T H E N A V S I N G H. I'm on uh, my TikTok is in Punjabi, so if you understand Punjabi, come to TikTok. But my Instagram and YouTube is in English, so definitely uh, my my Instagram is I'm, I'm gearing more towards the agent agents to help them. And my TikTok is more towards my clients. So that's where I get my business from. But oh. my Instagram, I'm pushing more towards agents to help them about the social media and stuff. So definitely join me on the Instagram. Uh, and I'll be more than happy if you have any questions, send me a message. 100% uh, Punjabi in TikTok. Correct. 100% Punjabi in TikTok. So you're, all of your clients, 100% come from 100%, 100%. Punjabi. Punjabi okay. yes. <laughs> that's 100%. another insight that I have, guys. If you are fluent in your own language, you know, beyond English, obviously, please create content in your own language. You'll attract the right people that speak your language. Nav, thank you for your partnership. I appreciate all your energy that you bring every single week, every single year. I look forward to an even bigger year in 2023. Thank you for today. Thank you, John. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I I thank you uh, for the opportunity and uh, for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you all soon, guys. All the best. Have a great day.